Aquarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 22nd. Happy summer solstice and we having or we are having today, I'm doing this on Sunday, the solar eclipse. Now I have been saying in all the videos and I'll say it again, these things last or the effects of eclipses last three to six months. So really be patient with the transformations taking place, be cognizant, be aware, but most importantly, be as compassionate and patient with yourself and others as possible. Now, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so check all three. And if this is your first time watching, thank you so much. I hope it serves you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment down below, guys. It really helps, and I really do appreciate it. Or if you feel that this could help somebody, please share it. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. I think I just need to Aquarius for the week of June 22nd. my leg up here. I'm just going to put that down really quickly. <laughs> I'm sitting really comfy earlier. All right. And the theme for the week. It came up real quick. All right, Aquarius, three of swords, ace of wands, two of coins, eight of coins, the balance card, five of cups, the fool. The theme of the week is the chariot. Aquarius, you know what? I think this is good. Now, when people see the three of swords, they're like, oh my God, but this is not a bad thing. Aquarius, I think you're having to change your path. There might have been something that you were working really hard. Maybe you were working really hard to be a professor or to be in law enforcement or maybe you want to try to be a lawyer. But there was a certain path that you were really dedicated to, especially when it comes to it could be your career, your passion, things like that. And there has been endings here. Now, when we have the Three of Swords, there's a lot of grief. The endings might not just be so simple. It might not just be, you know what? I've tried and tried and it, nothing is coming from this. And you and it, that sucks. That's heartbreaking. Or perhaps something happened at work and now that's just not an option anymore. But your universe is pushing you to new areas of achievement, new areas of of dedication and career and growth. And this is something really good. Now, I know when we put our heart and soul into something and maybe it doesn't work out, yes, it's going to suck. It's going to hurt. Those are all understatements. But as cliche as it sounds, when one door closes, other ones are opening. And you don't know if this is for your health, your safety, your highest good, or the answer to all of your prayers. Now, you have the Ace of Wands with the Two of Coins. So, for instance, too, some Aquarians might be forced to look for other jobs right now. I know with everything that's going on, so many people have had to change jobs, lose jobs, add new ones. But this is a beautiful new beginning. You have the Ace of Wands. So this is a new opportunity to do something exciting, challenging. Now, when you do have the Ace of Wands, it can be contractual work. It might not be full-time or like just, you know, for a year. But it's an exciting opportunity and it's going to keep you super, super busy. When you have the Two of Coins, a lot of things are going on. You're going to have to balance, get your multitasking skills up to par. But don't be upset. I know when we're really overwhelmed with things, we're like, oh, we complain. But I honestly, this is an answer to your prayers. You might have been looking for a new job, more money, more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You might have been looking to have like more responsibility in terms of your career and you're having it. And you have the eight of coins on top of it. So whatever this new job, this new position is, not only is it going to be busy and not only is it a great opportunity, but you're going to learn on the job, Aquarius. So whatever this is, don't be like, oh, I don't know if I should. I haven't gone to school for it. I have no experience in it. Whatever. You learn as you go. Buy it off more than you can chew and you are going to be very, very good at this, Aquarius. On your time off, do your research, read up, take that little certification course. But this is an opportunity for you to really hone in your skills and kind of sharpen those tools in new areas. This is good. This is good, you know, intellectually. It's good to stimulate, you know, new beginnings and opportunities and meeting new departments and avenues. This is wonderful all the way across the board. Now you have the balance card with the five of cups and the fool. I think what you might be challenged um, with, Aquarius, is learning to kind of be objective with your current situation. You might say, oh, but I work so hard over here. 
Okay, understandable. But this card is saying, look at this is a time for patience with yourself, but also to be objective. Let, let's compromise. Let's look at the situation really quickly. Maybe that job or whatever it was in the past was something you really, really wanted to and your heart broke. But if we look at things objectively, this new opportunity might be something that's offering you expansion, more money, creativity, um, might be giving you more responsibility so you can move up. It might be a job that actually has forward movement that's faster, a job where it's not monotonous, but you're moving around. You know, we don't always get what we want, but in this situation, Aquarius, you're going to get exactly what you need. And at the end of the day, that is a blessing. You have the fool here. This isn't, I, I, I mean, I like this kind of stuff. Not everyone does, but this is a whole new adventure. So the universe is saying, walk, walk. You don't know what's five steps ahead of you. You don't know what's going to happen next month, but when... You walk in faith because you know that this is a good choice, it's a good opportunity. You get a lot of unexpected miracles. That's what I love about the fool. Because while it can be scary to to branch off on a new journey, scary because we've never done it, we don't know how to do it, we don't know what to expect. But when people walk in direction, even despite not knowing all the answers, the universe blesses you with miracles. It's like it's blessing the courageous and the ones who are brave and, and have spirit. What the universe is asking you to please not do is cry over spilt milk. When you have the five of coins, you might be lamenting about the things that didn't work out, the things that didn't come to pass, things that broke. And, you know, whatever this, this heartbreak is here, Aquarius, it's giving you an opportunity. Now, moving out really quickly of the career sector, another way to look at this for some too, this is a move. So something might not have worked out and some Aquarians are actually moving. Ace of Wands is actually a physical movement somewhere. You can be moving to a new location, a new home. And while it, it, it does, I don't want to underestimate the pain of change sometimes because I can see this here for you. There is a blessing in the beginning. I know people are like, I don't want to hear it, Angelique, but... Let me tell you, boo, whatever this was, there was something that was perhaps unhealthy or toxic here. And sometimes it's normal to want to look at what we messed up on, failed on. But you're not seeing the blessings, the growth, the happiness, the opportunity for new beginnings, you know, new people, new experiences. Now, the theme of the week is the chariot. So I think for Aquarius, for most Aquarians, it is going to be career because the chariot this week is all about work. Career advancement, structure, durability, foundation. If you guys have been teetering when it comes to money, Aquarius, you're going to be happy to know your money is going to start stabilizing. The more that you are self-disciplined and you have that willpower, willpower, the more you're going to achieve, the more recognition you're going to get from the public and your peers, and the more you're going to move forward and climb up so congratulations guys you're gonna feel great Aquarius especially if you've been really low on cash and or you know work has been unsteady or unstable you haven't been happy if what is must have been taking a real toll on your sense of self-worth identity um and your ability to take care of yourself which is a big thing with this week opportunity movement and it's gonna be really really busy learning growth just make sure you do your best not to hold on to the past to do your best to see the blessings in this, to be objective with your situation, see that make that pro and con list. You can have a little more clarity because sometimes when you make that list, you're like, you know what? I'm actually not losing anything. I was actually more sad because I associated it with a dream or an idea or a vision, but it wasn't actually that great in real life. Sit down with yourself. You're good at that. You're an air side. Being a little objective here because whatever this opportunity is, guys, it's an opportunity for movement in more than one way. So congratulations ahead of time, Aquarius. I'm super happy to see the stabilization in your life. Stabilization? Is that even a word? Stability in your life? If you like a more in-depth tarot session, a healing session, a soul reading, my link is down below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week for next week's readings. Take care.